Welcome, everyone, to another great episode of Tea Time with Tom. All right, I've got the water there. Got to so, stay hydrated. Absolutely. So, guys, um, honored to uh, have a special guest, good friend. I used to uh, work with her at the Ryerson Athletic University gym, star basketball player, Mariah Thomas. Thank you for joining us for the show, Mariah. No problem. It's actually my pleasure. I'm so excited for this. After, and, oh, sorry. And formerly known as uh, Mariah Nunes, but now. That's right. <laughs> Uh, and yes, guys, today will be a special show, so it's going to be different, everyone, from the other Tea Time shows. Uh, we're going to be talking about holistic health that Mariah is really deeply into, and uh, about her company, and Rich Fit. So mm -hmm. it's going to be a really special show, guys. So Mariah, I hope, I hope you're excited for this. So uh, <laughs> I really am. <laughs> Absolutely, it's gonna be great. So, uh, first, uh, first uh, thing, uh, Mariah, I want to ask you. Uh, you were an ama amazing basketball career, Rice University, and then the pros and Team Canada. Uh, how was that experience like? Well, thank you. Um, it was honestly like an experience that I will never forget. I just recently retired, but uh, basketball has been a huge impact in my life. It has helps me meet amazing people. It has brought me to so many places. Um, it helped me through school. So I think to start at Ryerson even, um, going into that program and just being a part of something amazing, we created history there. Um, before I actually, I had transferred school. So I was in a school in New Jersey first. And um, when I transferred there, like the program wasn't really well known or anything like that, but we had an opportunity to make an impact. And so, it was super exciting, exciting to like um, just, you know, get together and um, just really like make something happen. And so we ended up, we lost in the, the finals of the uh, national championships. So we won in Ontario. So we, we got our gold medal there and then we were a silver medalist in the country. So for us, it was just a huge, um, just privilege to just be able to make an impact in our school and make history for it. And um, those are some of the best girls I've ever met. So that's what, like my Ramily right there, you know? Um, fast forwarding a little bit, I ended up going to play pro for about three seasons. Um, I got to play in France and in Spain. I went to Ireland for a little while. Um, and that was also such an amazing opportunity, getting to just travel and see new places, meet new people experience new cultures it was it was unreal honestly and um i'm truly grateful for that opportunity and i just i really enjoyed my time um playing basketball and it really has brought me to so many places and just gave me so many opportunities to experience new things so very very grateful i'd have to say um my one of the best experiences i've ever had was playing for the national team playing for team canada and um traveling to uh, Taipei so that was pretty cool we went to Tokyo as well and we just competed and yeah it was it was a great experience so oh absolutely and uh, I have to ask one last question regarding um, the, the amazing basketball career you had do you have any uh, special moments that uh, you know that you remember that you uh, enjoyed the most yeah, I, and I have to just kind of add on, and I guess can go into more detail about my experience in Taipei. We played for the, um, um, it was like a kind of like a university world games in a sense, but it's like it was internationals all over the world. And um, we had countries come together and basically pick their, like, their best uh, youth teams. Um, so it was up to 25, I think the cap was. And so... Um, it was just really cool to just be in that environment. Um, it was basically like a mini Olympics, you know? So um, one game, well, actually a few games, but one game, it was super packed. We were playing against Taipei. And so the stadium was literally there, like there was more people than there were seats. And it was literally in front of 10,000 people. Um, we got to play and just experience that environment and just seeing the crowd, even though they weren't really cheering for me, it was like, it was super unreal and um, such an awesome experience. And it was something like I've never experienced before. So I'd say that is probably high on my list of experiences playing basketball. 
Oh, that, that's amazing, Mariah. Thank you for sharing that with us. Like, uh, yeah, absolutely. And I, I want to say you were uh, one of the nicest uh, athletes at Ryerson University. Oh, thanks, so. Bobby. Appreciate that. <laughs> Well, and uh, yeah, so let's let's uh, let's get into uh, you know, the company which you create, Enrich Fit. I have um, want to ask you uh, for the viewers, like, please, um, yeah, expand on your company, Enrich Fit. Okay, so um, when I decided to retire from basketball, I realized that although I've been physically active pretty much all my life, I neglected so many other aspects of my health. So um, just like mental health and nutritional health nutrition is a big one for me um and just spiritual health and emotional health so i realized that i might have felt physically fit but i was not very healthy off the court or like outside of the workout you know room or the gym or whatever it was um so i just realized that you know for me to really reach my fullest potential and to be the best version of myself I needed to start taking care of myself in all the other aspects. So I started looking into um, just how to go to go about that, how to like really um, target these areas. And that's where I got into holistic health. And so essentially holistic health is eight different pillars. Um, we have, I, mean, I listed a few, but we also have financial and environmental and social health, I think to add on to those. And so, um, yeah, so I started doing my research on it and realizing how much work I had to do, you know. And uh, so then I decided, you know what, there must be other women out there like me um, or other people in general who are struggling with certain areas. They might be super, you know, healthy when it comes to nutrition, but then mentally they're insecure, they lack self-confidence, they, you know, have anxiety issues, stuff like that. And it's like, how do we put it all together, you know, like put all the pieces together to really feel, you know, as happy as you can and as fulfilled as you can. So that's what I started to do. And so I created Enrich Fit and my motto is holistically enriching the mind, body and soul. So I created that and designed it to help specifically empower women. Um, but I still work with the men. I still work with young children. And I have two basketball teams that I, I train as well. So like I still have brought in the environment of, you know, where I'm targeting like my audience, but I mainly really wanted to empower women because I just feel like that, that is such a, an area that needs to be worked on. Oh, absolutely. And I, I checked it out as well, Mariah, amazing things you're doing with your company and uh, holistic health. So uh, speaking of holistic health, uh, so what are, like, uh, if you can elaborate on holistic health, the importance of it, Mariah, and why people should take uh, advantage of it, like why it gives mm -hmm. positive advantage to your uh, livelihood. Right. I kind of like mentioned a little bit of um, some examples, but just in all honesty, we can't really reach, you know, total happiness and total fulfillment without actually taking care of each part, you know. So um, I think that for me, it was just really important to um, just see that if you can, you know, be healthy in each area, then you'll be really feeling the greatest that you can, you know? So it's really important to take time for self-care, um, to take time to like journal even, to take time to make sure you're drinking enough water. And so it's really important to take advantage of those things because you won't really be able to be completely great. You might be great in one area, but you'll be lacking in the others. And if you realize that holistic health is so like interconnected, you really won't reach the highest level even in that one area because if you feel like you're really physically fit you won't really reach the highest level of what you can really do like your fullest potential if you're not fueling your body with the proper nutrients like so if you're not taking care of the inside you can't really completely take care of the outside you know so you might look away but you might not be as like a way that you enjoy or like what you're you know ideally want but you won't be as strong as you can be or you can you know always be better like you can always reach a higher goal and so if you start implementing the other things, the other parts of like holistic health, then you can really reach that goal. So like um, even mentally, you might be lacking, say, self-confidence. But if you start eating better, you'll start feeling better. You know, you start working out, you'll start looking better and feeling better about yourself in that aspect. And so like by implementing physical and nutritional, mentally, you're going to start growing as well and developing that area. So it's really just important to combine all of them to reach that full potential. 
Oh, it's it's, uh, it's absolutely. We all want to reach our full potential of health, right, Mariah? So uh, yeah. all this is amazing. Um, not sure if you touched on. I believe you did have touched this a little bit, but uh, going on that, how, like, after you had your amazing basketball career, how has holistic health changed your life? Right. So I was, like I said, physically fit, but I lacked in nutrition. I was eating horribly, and I didn't realize how um, important and how like how much of an impact it would have on my body, you know? And I realized maybe if I ate better and maybe if I drink enough water, maybe if I did like the stretching outside of playing more so and, and dedicated time to that, I could have, you know, been better with recovery when it came to sports. Like I would be less sore and less injuries and have, or have less injuries and stuff like that. So I feel like I started to realize this later on at the near the end of my um, basketball career. But I just realized that I just was so underdeveloped in so many other areas. And I wasn't really happy. Like, I wasn't completely happy. Even experiencing so many awesome and amazing opportunities and experiences, I wasn't able to um, truly be as grateful and to enjoy it to the fullest because I was lacking in the other areas. And I just wasn't completely um, just aware, like self-aware of all the other components. And so I feel like it kind of hindered me from just being, you know, completely happy or, you know, completely grateful or stuff like that. I was caught up like mentally, like, like I said, maybe I was comparing myself um, to others and just like feeling insecure about myself. And, and it was so hard for me to um, realize these things until I realized that it was something I needed to take time and to focus on and discover how can I develop this area. And so, when I started to do that, it kind of was game changer for me. It changed who I became as a woman, um, as a friend, sister, daughter, now as a wife, you know? So um, there's always so much developing you can do at every stage of your life. So it's an ongoing process. And I think coming to that realization um, and just um, really taking care of the other areas has helped me become the best or become better, you know? of a woman of an individual that i i can be so you know absolutely and it's it's the importance is uh is health right like no matter uh how much money you have in life or whichever riches it's it's health that's really number one for uh, all of us absolutely mariah thank you and uh like to say yeah so going on top of that uh what's your future plans that you, you have this amazing company set up what's your future plans for uh enrich fit and, and, and your career overall so um yeah i got certified as a trainer and, and then i started to just come out all come together and so um right now i i mean with all this like covid um you know restrictions and stuff like that um, a lot of things have been put on hold but it has also given me an opportunity to work on the things that i've been i've had on my to-do list for months you know so um so like I, I mentioned before i was training two basketball teams um two uh U11 and U13 boys basketball teams and then I also had my personal training clients and I was running boot camps so I was doing that religiously and um, it was great and I was super busy and it was awesome but I just realized I didn't really have the time for all the little um, administrative stuff and organizing things and you know putting it all together so now I have a lot more time to do that so I'm really excited to actually get some of that stuff done but um in terms of what I want to do for the future, uh, I just started doing some virtual boot camps. So that has been a huge adjustment for my business, but now I have the opportunity to reach so many other people. So I'm probably going to continue to do that. I think this is just another um, avenue to reach people and help them, you know, really get physically fit and feel good about themselves. So that's what I'm focused on doing right now. Um, I'm still planning my, my programs for the season for my elite I call it Enrich Fit Elite um, for those for those kids. Um, and then I also am planning my programs for the clients as soon as we're able to resume if we're not doing virtual stuff right now. Um, and yeah, so like big picture though, I'm working on blogs and I just started a YouTube channel. So I want to um, kind of get that going, hopefully, <laughs> you know, get that brand out there and just start putting out content, have, you know, workout videos, um, videos on how to like perfect your technique and your form um workout stuff like that you know full length little clips circuits anything you know that people are interested in 
Um, and then also like meal prepping ideas and um, just daily like, you know, blog, blog stuff or, you know, where I can just help people kind of um, develop their other like parts of the lifestyle, you know, so just targeting each pillar, you know. Um, so yeah, just kind of working on that, that stuff. And I am in the works of um, preparing to launch my juices. So I'm super excited about that. It's nice. <laughs> um, thank you. So I'm um, just trying to get things in order, um, all the administrative stuff. And I've been like perfecting my juice recipes and figuring out names for them. And just, I'm putting a lot of time and effort into it. Um, and hoping to launch it very soon, especially when all this is over. I want to have juices going out left, right, and center. So, yeah, just trying to get healthy, natural, homemade, delicious juices. Because I, I feel like people underestimate how delicious juice, homemade juice can be. So, yeah, that's what I'm pretty, like, that's what I've been working on and I'm pretty excited about right now. Uh, what type of juices? Uh, can you give us a little, a little uh, preview? Yeah, sure. So, I think my favorite juice is um the purple juice that i've made and it has a beet base um but there's so many different components in it into it um so because beets is like the base of it uh i've decided to call it a beet and i spelt it like b-e-e-t you know so it's a little punny a little play on the words um but it's just like it just kind of fits with the juice because beets are known to energize and um stimulate you and um, just give you that energy and stamina that you need and there's just so many benefits of it so it just kind of seemed really fitting so probably upbeat would probably be my um, my favorite juice so far but just whatever you're looking for I'm trying to cater to um, a specific juice for each person you know or you know have them all but I'm um, just super excited about just taking the time and really being thoughtful about these it, it seems little, but it's like super big to me. And I know that people will appreciate that, you know? Absolutely. And uh, I have to ask you one last thing. Can you give the viewers and such as myself uh, any, t any like for now, I know it's a little question, but briefly, what type of healthy regimens that we can do uh, to mm -hmm. stay shaped? For I got to sure. lose weight. <laughs> for sure. So um, I think it's really important to get into a routine. Uh, I think for most people who struggle with anything, it's just about discipline. And even for myself, it's a matter of getting into a daily routine. Um, and I'd have to say that even just having a morning routine that focuses on um, just each pillar or even some of the pillars. So for example, waking up, you know, I like to journal and talk about um, just like 10 things, even just write down 10 things that I'm grateful for. Um, making sure that I'm drinking enough water or I like to drink a smoothie in the morning so that I know like I'm getting a whole bunch of fruits and vegetables um, into my diet from the beginning and um, you know maybe stretching or doing a little mini workout in the morning going for a walk different things that will help to um, just help my mind come at ease but or you know in this whole hectic time I have lots of lots of things on my mind writing down a to-do list. Um, so sort of things like that. I, I'll wake up and I'll do a morning devotion. So I talk about spiritual health. Like I'll do my prayer, I'll read my Bible, I'll um, journal about it and you know take some scriptures, stuff like that. And I feel like putting that all together um, in the mornings really helped me get a jump start on my day. And then I would say like for physical health, just super important for to be consistent. Start with two days a week, you know? then progress three days, four days. Um, if you guys are interested, if anyone watching this who wants to follow me on my YouTube, I already have posted two full or three full workouts um, and I'll be posting circuits that you can try out, little clips and stuff to do as well. So you can go ahead and follow me on Enrich Fit for my YouTube um, or subscribe or however you, you say it. Um, and uh, I'd say like just kind of, just understand that you are starting somewhere and the hardest part is to start you know so just being okay with where you're at not comparing yourself to anybody else just focusing on being better each and every day you know doing better um, working harder and just focusing and honestly the, the hardest part is starting like I said and even just feeling sore and all that stuff it's it's day one that first week will be the hardest so as you continue to progress things will get easier you'll be less sore 
you'll get into a more of a routine. You'll be more comfortable with being in a workout environment or knowing the exercises, and it will just become easier and easier as you go along. So, um, but I would love to talk to you more about it as well. And if anyone has any questions, you can always like message me on my social medias or anything like that. So, yeah. Oh, Mariah, I got a lot of questions about that. <laughs> I am got to lose this weight. Oh, I'm just yelling at me, saying I'm always fat and everything. It's, it's not good. Hey, it's, it, it, that's not important right now. Huh? <laughs> um, no, but right, like I just want to, on behalf of Teton Batami, um, you know, thank you again for uh, coming on the show and for promoting holistic health and your enriched fit company. Um, yeah, thank you again. A lot. But is there um, any any final thoughts like you you like to add uh, before we go? Um. Just for anyone watching, just remember to love yourself, you know, to be kind to yourself and to share that love with others. Um, I think that's really important and that has helped me along my journey um, just to focus on, you know, the things that I have to be grateful for, you know, all of my blessings and, you know, everything I've experienced and everything I've done, just love myself and be proud of myself. And I think that helped kind of propel me forward into creating bigger things and new things for myself to do and, you know, achieve. So that would be like a little takeaway um, for anyone that's watching today. Absolutely. Thank you, Mariah. And lastly, do you, um, do you want to share your Instagram handle and the website link so that people can uh, check out EnrichFit? Sure. Okay. So um, my website is currently under construction. It will be out soon, but you can go ahead and check it out you can leave your email and i can you know notify you when everything is up and running um but my website is enrichfit.ca so pretty simple enrichfit the name .ca um my instagram is enrich underscore fit and um i have facebook as well a facebook page and it is enriched fit enrichfit was taken so i had to add the ed so enriched fit um but yeah, and then also I told you my YouTube as well, Enrich Fit. So pretty simple. Once you once you remember my business name, you can most likely find me. Yeah. Well, no, that's amazing. Thank, thank you again, Mariah. And once again, thank you for coming on the show and uh, sharing your uh, uh, holistic health and about how it's uh, definitely changed your uh, life for the positive. Thank you again. And everyone, thank you for joining us for another great episode of Tea Time with Tommy. Thanks, Tommy. It was my pleasure. Appreciate it. Thank you, Mariah. Thank you. Oh, hold on, though. Hold on. But thank you. Take care, guys. Take care, everyone.